Hello, Nick here from Technorovo and welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at a vacuum cleaner, the Mealy Triflex HX1 Cat and Dog. But before that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up at the end of it if you've enjoyed it. We're active on our socials at Technorovo across all platforms, so go give us a follow too. Right, let's take a look at this vacuum cleaner. It's actually the first time we've had a Mealy product land on our desks before. We've seen them at trade shows, um, and from what we've been told, their reputation for quality and performance is exceptional. But here we are with one of their new vacuum cleaners, the Triflex HX1. They currently have five in the HX1 lineup, ranging in price from £479 up to £679. Three with varying colour options, one with an improved battery and one more suited for cats and dogs, which is the one I have here. I'm glad I got this version as I have two cats and one dog at home to clean up after. Within the box you get the cleaner itself in various parts which will need to be put together yourself. Three nozzles, two electric brush systems, one battery and its charger and a wall mounting system. The cleaner itself comes in a matte and gloss black finish with hints of rose gold and silver, which I'm a big fan of and really like the overall look and feel of the cleaner. On the cheaper models, this finish is available along with a red version and a white version too. The cleaner does come with a wall mount which can be screwed onto a wall and the cleaner will hang from it along with smaller accessories. It's very easy to put together. Parts clip into place easily and it's very well constructed. Mealy is marketing this as a three-in-one system and by that they mean you can swap the parts around to form three different setups. In the simplest and smallest form, it's the motor and a nozzle or one of the electric heads, which is best suited for stairs or furniture. Then you can either have the motor at the top of the shaft by your hand or at the bottom by the head and either of these arrangements are for general cleaning of floors while standing up. Out of the two stand-up arrangements, having the motor and its weight, especially at the bottom of the shaft and away from the hand, felt easier and more comfortable for me to use, plus it wasn't top heavy, so it would actually stand up on its own. The battery takes four hours to fully charge, and once charged, the indicator lights will turn off. Advertised runtime is 60 minutes on the lowest suction and without any electric heads. If using the electrical head with built-in lights, they're saying circa 30 minutes on low suction, 20 minutes on high. Also, at its longest length, the cleaner is 130 centimeters long or tall, whichever way you want to look at it. As for performance, the suction blew my mind and I've not experienced anything like it before. It was so good that I questioned the last time I vacuumed my house. Weekly is the answer, but the amount of dirt and hair it picked up, you would have thought I had skipped it for the last few weeks. There is a very notable difference in speed and sound between the three different suctions, um, but that doesn't relate as much in performance, as even on low suction, I could see the same pieces of dirt get sucked up. With that fantastic performance comes its first limitation, the dust bag or container. After hoovering four rooms and a landing upstairs, the container was full. So full, in fact, that I couldn't actually empty the container without getting a pencil in there to ease it out. In hindsight, I should have monitored it and emptied it halfway through, but that would have annoyed me having to stop start. I managed to clean the upstairs and stairs, and then the next downfall came, battery life. After a full charge at maximum suction, I managed to squeeze about 15 to 18 minutes out of it on carpeted floors, and that wasn't enough. I went to clean the downstairs and the battery had died. That meant charging it for another four hours and then trying again later that day. Now I say downfall, I have a similar handheld cleaner with only a slightly longer battery life, although a far more reduced suction. So it's a problem across the board with handheld cleaners not just this one. Once back up and running, I cleaned a couple of carpeted rooms downstairs with the rest of the rooms being wood flooring. I used a low suction on the wood flooring and medium on the carpet this time. The end result was great, a very clean floor, no scratches on the wood, 
nor any small parts being sucked up and spat out. As for practicality and movability, it's okay. Moving the cleaner around is smooth and the electronic head is easy to navigate around. With the overall size of the motor and the chunky battery, it does actually make the cleaner heavy. It's not overly heavy, but compared to others I've used, it is heavier and I could feel it in my right arm, especially while cleaning the stairs one-handed. It wasn't that bad, I got used to it, but some may find it on the heavier side. To round up, the Mealy Triflex HX1 looks fantastic and performs exceptionally well. The battery life was average at best and some may find this cleaner heavier than what they're used to. A way around the battery issue is to upgrade to the Triflex HX1 Pro, which on paper appears to offer double the battery performance to the cheaper models. As for price, it's competitive against its competitors, especially Dyson. That's a wrap on this video and I hope you found it beneficial. If you have one of these, let us know in the comments below what you think about it. And don't forget to give this video a like if you've enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all our latest tech and gaming videos.